Well, hello there, and welcome back to my channel, Subscription Boxes and More with Michelle. And if this is your first visit, well, I hope you'll come back and see me again soon. What is it I have to share with you today? Well, guys, I have gotten my hands on, I bought these, Oh Hoo Hoo Acrylic Markers. And you know, if you've been here a while, that I do do some art. I just don't do it often enough. Oh, hoo hoo. Uh, Keiko series, something, I don't know. I don't know. But they are in this really nice zipper case. I've already been using mine, and I wanted to tell you what I thought of them. Well, that's not supposed to be in there. Okay, um, I already swatched them, so they came in a different order in the package, and I um, put them in the order that swatched on white and swatched on black, and I swatched both the... Um, the bigger nib and the smaller nib. Um, I put them in the order that they show up on the swatch card so that I can find them more easily. And um, they come with some extra nibs, both sizes. And look at these. Look at these markers. Love the case. Love the markers. Um, they do do some, um, scratching up, piling up, or whatever, of the paper, but I've found that to be the case with Posca's or any of the, um, any of the paint markers. I have found it to be a, an issue, so I, I really like these. So I wanted to do, wanted to show it to you a little bit. Look at this range of colors. There's metallic, there is neon, and then there are regular colors. There are 36, I think. Five, six, yep, 36. And you can really see some of the effects on the black paper. But, um... So I'm going to have to change the orientation of my camera and try to get it down. You know I don't have a top down because I have a, re a regular camera instead of using a cell phone. I've not been able to find a good um, top down thing that my f camera fits in. Okay, sorry about that. Had a doctor's office call. Um, I'm way far behind the eight ball on this, but I have here... A wreck this journal um, if you haven't seen it it's been out for I guess more than 20 years and I've decorated mine up it was just black with this part here that said wreck this journal that looks like it's got tape around it and I've added the artwork to it and tape so it would not scratch off um, and I've written on the edges and I cracked the spine and things that it told you to do. It's a prompt journal that is an art journal. Uh, I'm wondering if you guys, uh, uh, my ear, I'm wondering if you guys would be interested in seeing me do any of this. Um, I'm kind of needing to do something different for a while. Um, maybe to get out of my funk that I'm in. Uh, I do have some, as soon as my new flashlight comes, I do have some more mini verse to do, but you have to have a stronger um, UV light for the new resin because of the recall. I still have the old ones that need done and um, I'm not, unless the resin please come and take them away, I'm keeping them. Uh, but anyways, I'm waiting on the new uh, light so that I can do that on my channel. Um, 
I figured how, how to fast forward video so you shouldn't have to watch me do things and, you know, I could speed it up so that, anyway, sorry, I'm very distracted from the phone call. Um, I'll show you what I've gotten done so far. Let me take out the pages that I've got pages that I'm going to work on today with the Ohuhu markers. Um, so I need to take a couple pages out so they're not falling. This one's glued in, so that's not going anywhere. All right, so anyways, as I said, here it is on the front. And then I decorated my inside. Now, remember, some people say I'm an artist. I'm not an artist. I'm a doodler because um, I can't do realism. You know, I can't. Some things I can. Some things, most things I can't. Um, I can do cartoony things. I, I can entertain myself, basically. So here is a cartoony version of Mau Mau, the cat that started the doll here. And I decorated this side with swirls and dots and and stuff and then the next page is I did like this vining thing I like to do that a lot around the um, information and then I don't care if you see my personal information because I've moved since then um, I was eating these M&Ms, and I really like them. The orange, the orange vanilla cream. Um, I didn't have, I didn't put white around the M&Ms. I forgot to where it says M&Ms, but and it's not great. It's just what I was eating at the moment, and I was um, just in a mood to. I wanted to put something there, and that's what I put on it. Um, then the instructions colored that in and stuff and this I use pens that you're supposed to roll and supposed to make a border um they don't work very well they came from Timu they didn't work very well but they're on there I was trying to use a variety of different products you know over here this is clear crayons and it had to be taped over because they're very um I don't know if waxy is the right word, um, but you could smudge them a lot, so I, but they're clear crayons, and then write your numbers here, and I wrote numbers, and I, I only numbered this first page, so that is, that brings you to the first actual thing that says, track the spine, why well, did it, and I, Back when I started this years ago, like 2018, I just said, done. Um, and that's not good enough. So I drew this, it's supposed to be me, and standing, you know, and like leaning back and cracking my back. So I'm going to direct you down so that you can see the Ohuhu markers in action. Now, I've only used these a couple times, so I don't possibly know how to use them the best but I will color this in and we'll just see what what it turns out like I think you can see that that might work all right well we'll start and we'll worry about the background later let's let's just start all right I've got kind of brown hair I guess I'll start by coloring my hair Tried to show a little wave in my hair. Well, hi, Charlie Bill. You're in the way. You're in the way. I love how these markers lay down color. Um, it's this is a thicker. This is a thicker paper. It's not quite. Um, it's not printer paper, and it's not. Um, it's not cardstock. It's between. It's a weight between, and so it is holding up to the markers pretty well. I'm gonna put some gray streaks in my hair with the thin end of the marker. I need something to put under this. I really do. I don't know what though.
probably should have colored my hair in solid and then done that. Because I have white in my hair. Like more than keep these in order, Michelle. You don't want to. All right, now we'll do the gray streaks. Except for I probably should have let it dry longer. And I kind of feather my hair back a little bit, like it's the 70s. Alright, hopefully that'll work. Um, I wear a lot of pink, so maybe I should make my t-shirt pink. Pink, pink. This is um, Candy Pink, R506 Candy Pink. I know this is an unoriginal idea. I'm pretty sure I've seen it on some of the videos that I've seen on YouTube of this book. And I know that this is old news. This book has been out forever. So I, I apologize for being so late to the game, but I've had it for a long time. I just, to be honest, I've been scared to wreck the book. I've been afraid that anything I do will mess it up. It, you know, like irreparably mess it up. Um, because I don't think that I, I have the art skills. And so, but I've decided I'm just going to do it. I hope that you guys will come along on the journey with me. And we can do a few pages here and there. I always wear jeans. I don't wear my shirt tucked in usually, but you know. Let's see. I'm gonna go with light blue. It might be too light. Oh, they're just really light jeans. Um, I have also got Create This Book 1, 2, and 3, and a bunch of other prompt journals, uh, the 365 Days of Art, and... Um, I'm going to go over some of these details with black again because um, we're losing our detail with the, with the paint. But anyways, um, hopefully you'll watch me do some art because it's just all I want to do right now. For some reason, all I want to do is some artwork. And like I said, I'll speed it up so that you don't have to watch every little stroke of the pen. It's not, I mean, there is some little bits where I've gone over it where it is kind of making the paper kind of, you know how like a sweater gets those little bally things on it, sort of, how, what do they call it? Pile, whatever, I don't know. What color should I make the lightning strikes? Well, you know, because it hurts. Should we make it gold so it stands out? Could make it red. It Will it stand out enough? Maybe. We'll make it red. They're like lightning bolts of pain. in my lower back, because that's where it happens. I have lower back pain.
pain. Nothing like my mom I had. My, my poor mom was in pain constantly. But I think red, red's a good color to show pain, right? I want my colored pencils because I want to... Here's some. These are not great colored pencils. They're just what I have in here. I just think they're neat because they're click down pencils. I need something hard to press on. Just trying to show, you know, that it hurts. I got color me in still. Should I do that with the markers or should I do that with colored pencils? It depends on if, what color I have in colored pencils, right? Stuck my finger in something. All right, there's yellow. I don't have peach, so I have orange. I don't think I want to be orange. The problem is I don't have a peach in the Uhuhu markers really. I have neon orange, I could be in neon orange, but I don't think so. Use a little colored pencil and try to make me look a little bit peachy. I don't know. I don't know if it'll work or not, but kind of. All right. Let's do a purple background with colored pencil. That'll work. Anyway, it's going to be a rough colored background because I just wanted to give it some color, but, you know, I wasn't worried about it being great, great color. Um, I'm going to go around uh, some of the black that got lost. With my microns. So if I can follow the lines. I can't see real well, so it's really hard for me to even follow my own lines. But I think you get the gist. Hopefully that's good enough. Even though I even signed and dated it. So here is my picture that I did for cracking the spine. What do you think? It's a little thinner than me, but let's glue it into the book and make it a permanent thing. Something I have noticed is these glue sticks do not hold real well. I, um, another page that I've got glued in is wanting to come out. Maybe I didn't get it in fast enough. Maybe this glue just isn't that great. I mean, it's Elmer's. It's not like it's super glue. And it dries very quickly. Not put it in an upside down, Michelle. Ugh, ugh, ugh. 
I want to try to do this book mostly in order, but there may be um, a prompt here or there that I need to do not at my desk, so that that could make it a little hard. Like the one, um, I think it might be on the next page where you're supposed to stand on the book pages, you know, like maybe put paint on your feet and stand on it. Well, I can't really do that too easily right here. That's something I would need to do like maybe outside. So it may be something that you see a different day. This is not gonna stick. I'm trying to use the glue stick so that it doesn't, um, so it doesn't bubble up, you know? I already didn't tape it down real well when I taped pages. All right, anyways, the next prompt that I did. Okay, this says leave this blank on purpose. So we're leaving that one blank on purpose, even though it's hard to want to do that. This is the stand here page. And as I said, it's going to be a little hard to do that in my studio where I don't have room to show you. But this one, in, I messed up because it says pour, spill, drip, spit, fling your coffee here. Well, I didn't leave room for the prompt, so I'm going to have to cut that out. And a lot of my stain is going to be, obviously, where the prompt was. So, let's see if I can figure out where the prompt is. Can I see through it? No, 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 not so much. A little bit. Trying to chase out around it just a little bit so I can I think it's a amber alert. I'm gonna be cutting away a lot of my stain. Maybe I can glue some of it here where it didn't stain as well. I hope that this um I hope I cut it. I hope I traced it well because I couldn't really see I was trying. I'd like the prompts to show. I already went over my line art with um, black over here except for the writing. So you didn't have to watch me do all that. If you want to see me sketch, it takes me a long time. So it takes me a long time to do anything. <laughs> I bought a shirt that says it takes me all day. Sometimes it takes me all day to get nothing done. And that's most days. So I shake, I can't see, I mm, aggravating. I shouldn't complain. My husband can't see anything, so me complaining is sort of ridiculous. I should not be complaining. It could certainly be worse. I have bleeding in my eyes and stuff that they have to give me shots for. and They're trying to save my vision as much of it as they can because I have to see for both of us. All right. Let's see. Did I do okay? Did I do okay? I think it'll work. All right. Let's try gluing it in first and then coloring it. See if that helps. Well, we're just going to do stick glue and pray for the best. We could Mod Podge it in afterwards, possibly. See, I get down to one end and the other end is dry already. I'm not fast enough. Get it in there all the way? Probably not. Oh, I just stuck my finger through it. I don't know. I guess the book's going to be all wonky when I'm done, anyways. All right. Nope, it's not all the way over. Ugh. Too bad. 
and that really is coffee. It's got hot chocolate in it, so it's coffee with hot chocolate in it. I make a, my own mocha with sugar-free hot chocolate, or I should say my husband makes it, because he usually makes my coffee, because he's so good to me. Um, so that's why mine might be a little different color than other people's, because mine has hot chocolate in it. See, I can't get it to listen, look, listen, glue stick. Not sticking. Not even sticking. Not even trying to stick. Charlie Bill, are you helping? All right. My arrow is not exactly all the way cut out here. So if any of you watched the new Planet of the Apes movie, I watched it yesterday. It was different. I'm not saying it was bad. It was just different than the, you know, Planet of the Apes when I was a kid. So I cut this down a little bit. want to waste it. Trying to give it like a, a shadow so it looks a little 3D because it's kind of like a speech bubble thought bubble, I don't know. Just trying to make it stand out as different from the page. I know we're supposed to be doing a hoo hoo markers. I'm going to do it on the next page with the cup. I'm going to use it right now, right here, too. And this is not sticking. Listen, stick, will you? That's your one job, glue. Your one job, to stick to stuff. Alright, so we're going to take... What color? What color do you think we should write on this? Maybe red. I'm going right for it, so hopefully you don't mess up. Yes, spilled coffee is such a crime because it's wasted. Give us a sad face. There we go. Because I had room. Alright, I'm going to color over here with the hoo markers and color. What color should the cup itself be? Well, I'm telling you the room the room the rim of it is going to be gold. I wanted it to be kind of like a fancy teacup. <clears throat> so I was making it have a gold rim. I don't know if you can see because I've got a cat there. The gold's a nice color. It's I it is metallic y. I would like it to be a, even a little bit more metallic y. But it's shiny. Give it a gold handle because it's fancy. 
gold rim on the plate. I'm sticking to the... I'm impatient, so I'm getting paint on me. Okay, now we need the lid. Now we need silver for the spoon. I think the silver one is shinier than the gold. I don't know why I'm doing it out of order, but I'm doing it in a weird order. Do the light blue for the cup itself. Or, wait, what is the, yeah, I guess. Do light blue for the cup itself. Trying to do, trying to do like a china blue. I really like these markers a lot. Um, I like that there seems to be more color range. I've got Poscas, but I don't have as many colors with the Poscas. I know there's more Poscas that I don't have. Um, but I like that there seems to be a bigger range of colors with the Ohuhu markers. I like that they have the two different ends, so you can get a thin line or a thicker line. They're really juicy. Like I said, I'm not having so much trouble with them tearing up the paper, but it could be the paper I am using is a thicker, more substantial paper. I know that some people have, have complained about, you know, them tearing up the paper. I wish I was a better artist for you guys. Wish I could do the, you know, really realistic looking drawings and stuff like that. I'm sorry. I mean, I can do some things. Like I, I can draw a really good, very uh, detailed anatomical heart. Things like that. I mean, random things that I can draw really well. And other things, I can't even draw a cartoony version very well. But hopefully, it'll be good enough. And hopefully it gets better as I practice. And that's the thing. Um, you can tell I have not been drawing in, you know, for a long time. Because my drawing is not as good as it was. And like anything, you have to practice. Use it or you lose it. And I've just not been practicing. I had a lot going on and didn't have enough time to really work on art. Even though I wanted to. I'm sure I should be layering colors and all kinds of things. I don't know how to do that yet. I will learn to do better with the markers. I mean, maybe I'll try it. But once it's in there and it's done, it's in there and done, you know? You can't really undo it. Unless you tear it out and start over. I'm not too sure I want to do that. But maybe I can try to do some shadowing, some basic shadowing, like under the cup on the plate. Maybe we'll see what I get brave enough to do. We'll leave it at that for the moment. Let's do the cookie. What color are we making the cookie? The biscuit. Well, I guess we're making it brown. Don't we have a tan color? No, I use black on there because it won't show up. Hopefully I'm not messing up my markers. Alright, I'm going to do the pink flowers. Pink, pink flowers. Yikes, I stuck my hand in the paint. Because that's what I do. I hope you can see anything I'm doing. Do not base these markers on my artwork, please. Don't base the quality of them on what I'm doing. A, I don't even know how to use them properly. I'm just playing. B, I'm not that great an artist. So just know that they are good. I'm enjoying them. And I think you would too if you gave them a try. Well, you know, whatever 
stage you are at in your artistic journey, whether you are a full-blown artist or a doodler. I think you will enjoy Ohuhu markers. There is some bleed through, that's why I did it on the um, other paper, see, so it wouldn't bleed through on the back. And that's why also that I chose this thicker paper. It's thicker than regular printer paper, but like I said, not as thick as cardstock. So that um, I would hopefully be safe from too much bleed through. Now, I think I'm going to go in with gold for the centers of the flowers to give it more of a shimmer and shine. I was going to make them yellow, but I decided I wanted to make them gold. And I think I'm going to also make some gold, random gold dots. Just to try to give them a little more pizzazz. Now I got to color in the coffee. And we know what color it's going to be because I only have one brown. Then I got to... My phone. Then I got to do some more stuff. Sorry, I, I know I'm out of frame a little bit, but I have a cat. And then I'm going to take white. I hope I don't mess up. I'm gonna scrumble a little bit to make it like you know, like the bubbles around the edge. Still getting my hand in paint. I've done much more realistic looking coffee in my life, but sorry, that's what I've got. Okay, I'm going to go in with my black and do some touch up on some of the ink, like around the edge of the cookie. And the dots on the cookie, the little like air holes, whatever they are, because they disappeared. <laughs> Add too much black in. Alright guys, well my battery died, and I didn't know, and I just kept on going. So this is the page I was working on, I think, when the battery died. I'm not sure. I went ahead and wrote the It's Always Coffee Time. I realized that this is upside down. Maybe I can turn it around in the video. Um, and I saved my spill, which is coming up. It's not... I don't know, guys. Um, I see people doing it with the glue stick, but glue sticks and I don't get along. Okay. Let's try to keep that in our book. So... I put, oh no, spilled coffee is such a crime, because, you know, I love my coffee. And then, I this is the poke holes in this page using a pencil page. I did poke through all of the circles that they had, um, and I put a paper on the back to, um, so you, I could put this Stickles glitter glue. I gotta be careful because it's wet over here. Um, Stickles glitter glue, and it's in fi the color Firefly, which I just messed up some of these because they're so wet, and I am too impatient to wait for them to dry. And I keep putting my hands in it. Um, Cause I I didn't know what to do with the holes. I think other people have done something similar. I try to 
come up with original ideas, but I think that somebody, I think I've seen somebody do uh, the Firefly thing. So, I don't know who, but I'm pretty sure I saw somebody do it. So, anyways, I've got a jar on the other side with holes in the lid. And, um, because they need air. Of course, you know, they always end up dying in the jar. When we're kids, we catch them and try to keep them. Always wanted to keep them for pets and, of course, a nightlight. Um, there's lots of sparkly on the page where it's not supposed to be because I keep putting my hand in it. But anyways, um, let me turn it around. I also use the Ohuhu markers to do, um, I don't know if you can see it, the silver of the lid and there's like a white, um, some white highlights, but I don't know how well they try out. And silver and gold. I did silver stars, but they didn't really show up, so I put gold around them to try to make them show up more. And the moon is silver, but see it but I put gold around it as well um, and I used the Ohuhu marker to do the bug I realize that fireflies don't look like that but they do in my book um, so hopefully you can see the individual little buggies and uh, that is something I enjoyed doing with my cousin when we were kids is catch fireflies so, put that in my book, and I'm going to um, stop here. We did, so let's recap. Uh, we did the fire Firefly page, you know, the poke holes in the page page. Try not to close it all the way or it'll get fireflies everywhere. That's what I did. Ugh. That's how I messed it up this time. Trying to wipe off the extra firefly guts. Um, darn. Um, this side's dry. But this side is not. Um, we also did the Bill Coffee Here page with the teacup and saucer and the biscuit there. Cookie. Not a very um, realistic looking. I, I've done much better. And we didn't step on this page because, yeah. And this is coming out. See, I told you I have no, no luck with the glue. And we cracked the spine, which is represented by that. That is totally not even glued into the book. I'll have to wait and glue it in better later because this is wet. All right, so anyway, and you saw the other pages I had done previously by myself because I didn't know if anybody would want to see me do it. I hope you do. I hope that you will, um, you know, I, I don't intend to quit doing um, mini verse or um, product reviews or anything or, or the couple of subscription boxes that I still do. Um, I don't intend to quit those things. It's just that I need something else that's kind of just for me and this is kind of just for me and hopefully you enjoy watching it as well um so i'm babbling so let's just uh say why don't you give me a comment below tell me what you think good or bad and give me that big old thumbs up because you know that really helps my channel and please subscribe to my channel and please share my video with others so that maybe they might subscribe as well Thank you so much for watching and for listening to me babble. And I love Ohuhu markers, acrylic markers. That's the only ones I've got. And I'll see you again in a minute in another video. Bye, guys.